Welcome, good people. Welcome to Live at Five. I'm your man, SRD, with my main man, 100 Grand, Big Muzz. Big Muzz. What's happening? Salam alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. We're here to let you know that, you know, our, our duty and our responsibility is to uplift fallen humanity. And though we are striving to do that, we have no intentions to offend you or to get you angry. However, we can't guarantee that that won't happen. But if it does happen, you know that it wasn't our intentions to do so. Because what it's going to take for us to get uplifted from fallen humanity, it's going to be sometimes some tough love for all of us because we all you know, got to go through some some changes to get to where we need to be as a unit. So without any further ado, let's get into it, brother. I was just taking some notes. Yeah. Um, where we left off, my Aki? Um, uh, we left off, we left off talking about the movies and how how the movies actually influenced a generation. I mean, and generations, period. Because as I was saying, I was influenced by the movie Superfly. So you you, you individuals that are watching, you guys that are watching, go to soup, try to pull up Superfly on YouTube. I think it was 1972, 1973. Watch that and compare that to... Uh, New Jack City and Scarface. And you'll see the difference of how one was towards the other and how it actually groomed my mindset. So, you know, me and my brother, we was out in them streets. And when we went out in them streets, it was a, it was a guideline of being able to say, okay, what we're not going to do. You know what I'm saying? What we're not going to do bases what we was going to do. That's what it ended up doing. The thing about New Jack City, as we were saying, New Jack City, not only was Nino a big drug dealer, Nino was end up turning out to murder his, murder his partner and it turned out to be a snitch. Now, with Scarface, Scarface basically did the same thing. He ended up murdering his partner, the guy that he was in business with from the beginning, and took his wife. And not only that, he murdered his best friend over his best friend and being in love with his sister. So when you look at that and you look at how our culture embraced both of those movies, you you wonder why it's like life in life imitating art and the the life started to imitate the art because you see some of that happening now and in the in the and where we at now as a culture where you see individuals killing a boy over over what money drugs territory i don't i don't know you guys that's out there would have to come on here one day and, and and let us know what you guys killing each other over, you know, killing each other for, you know. So, but what I, 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 I want to know what 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 is it that you think that gravitates us toward the movie and making it an icon in our community, and then um 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 duplicating. Or how should I say, uh, imitating, imitating the same type of, uh, the same type of imagery that we bring toward our community, like you know, like you said, you like the Scarface, you know what I'm saying? 
you know, I was into different type of movies, but it still wasn't far away from the reality, not the reality, but the reality that I sort of want to like escape to that. I seen those icons escape to. Right. I sort of wanted to escape on that path and bring that as a solution. So I knew that if I dictated that, what I was seeing, people would see me as symbolic to what they was groomed to see and may think I had that success also or power or um, for, um, 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 I, I'm promoting or I'm trying to influence such a power that relate to a movie that we've seen. You know what I'm saying? And right. I'm trying to um, um, maybe satisfy myself at the same time as to um, let people know exactly where I'm at or how much success I have doing what I'm doing by dictating these icons that we see. And um, that's one thing that would I, I for myself gravitated to those type of movies and started being like, yeah, and showing that same imagery. So what do you think that uh, attracts us so much when we see these type of videos and, 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 and movies that's portraying this type of lifestyle? Why do we grab it so much and hold on to it? And why do we duplicate it in our lives and, and promote it as, as we in real time doing the same actions? Follow me. I mean, you know, basically, it's it's like when you look at something that you can kind of relate to. Anytime, you know, based on some of our environments, we've been around certain things that have similarities to what we see in the movie. So when we see something that has a similarity it's easier to gravitate because we can relate to it. So when they, when they, when, when Hollywood puts the movies together or approves certain movies, they approve it by knowing, okay, it has to have something that you can gravitate that, that will pull you in that you, that's relatable. That will make you say, Oh, I can, I can do this. Or I would like to be like that. And I think that's what happened with the movies. Like, like I said, when I watched Superfly, I watched the movie and I watched the individual, you know, he was dressing, you know, dressing nice, had the nice car, and 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 he had, you know, ladies. So these are all things that I was used to seeing growing up. You know, individuals remember when we grew up, we grew up in a time where that individuals were running numbers. You know, you had the number runners. They had the big Cadillac. So we kind of was used to seeing that type of thing. And you had the pimps. So you kind of saw cats with that type of lifestyle. So when, when, when that movie came out, it related to image, the, the Im uh, imagery of what we were, what we were used to seeing. And, that's that's what I think is the per. That's what I think makes it easy for us. And to it also people. elaborated a lot to influence us of uh, of what to do next or um, this what happens next. Uh, put in our minds that this is what you do because as you see, like a lot of people nowadays, like you you saying, like they'll kill a partner, they'll 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 turn on them, they'll they'll do all all types of things. Um, with no with no code when it comes, it, it's like yo that code is out the window when it comes to a certain when it when it comes to a certain point. Um, what do you think? Um, I had a question. Um, what do you think when it comes to the in today's in today's movies? What the the the, the black movies that we're seeing today, like for instance. The black movies that we're seeing today that we gravitate to, that we follow on these um on these um uh shows, B the platforms, the different platforms. Yeah, different platforms. And we see these shows and they episodes and they continue. 
Um, did you ever notice when it comes to the 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 as they as you call it the the the, the white uh the white college teenage group. group, the college group, right? Okay. When they movies sit by our movies, did you notice they're all the most the majority of their movies always be on college campus? It be in a yeah. comedy form. Right. And then it be it be in a comedy form. It be on college campus. Or high and school. And then no matter what they do. Or high school, right. Or high school, they all graduate. The majority. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, they all I did, I did, I do, I did notice that. And and until Spike Lee do the right thing, we didn't have a set for Cooley High, right? Right. In between like Cooley High, you really didn't have a college a uh, 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 a college setting, right? Uh, right, a, a college, um, a movie, right? right? Cooley High was more high school, right? You know what I'm saying? It was right. high school. Um, Spike Lee do the right thing. That was more college. You feel right. me? Right. And that opened up a, a a a major door. He opened up a real major door when it came to movies and in, in, in that aspect, right? You had um, a lot of Bill Cosby movies always promoted black college campuses, as you see Morehouse and and um, um, and, and all the other black colleges. They they promoted that on those shows. You know, the different world they promoted that on those shows. Absolutely. As you see today, with the movie makers that we have. That's um as we describe them as black people in America, uh, entrepreneurs, um, self um, self made um, icons, wealthy men. They're not putting that type of movies out into the community. They're putting movies out in the community to cause more separation, to cause more. Like we said, elaborate on the crime because you'll say it's Hollywood, but that Hollywood is an influencer. Absolutely, yeah. That Hollywood is an influencer. So, what movies we see now today? If we was to sit down and we see and we sit down and we look at sitcoms and 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 and, and, and different types of movie, how are we being? How are we being portrayed in the movies by us? How are we being looked at in the movies by us? What are we giving? Because, see, a lot of this stuff, man, it starts with us and the acceptance of what we accept. People won't make stuff and won't keep putting stuff out if we don't accept it. How do we accept it when we know it's right from wrong? We have a decision to make, right? Hello. We have a, de a, a decision to make, right? Oh, How do we... Key. What's up? How's What's going do, on? How, okay. how how do we how do we how how do we how do we allow? See, because we complain about a lot of things. Absolutely. We complain about a lot of things. Abroad until it trend, we actually like like right now, we have to influence people to start saying no to these type of contents that come in our community and divert us from the, the particular thing we should be focused on. We got to influence them like, listen, look at the content that you're looking at. You understand? Look at what you're being designed to accept. Look how you're being trained. Because it's up to us. We could complain about the movie makers, the, the producers, the rappers. We could produce, we could, we could name a hundred things. And we always look at us. But then we blame. Not only America, we blame different cultures, uh, different ethnic move, um, people who want to exploit us and make money off us. But at the same time, we don't have nothing as powerful going against us, and it's only a decision. We have to stop, start looking at the content and saying, I don't want that in my house. I'm not looking at those type of movies. 
say just saying no. It takes that much, but we're so programmed to be like 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 when you were explaining about Scarface movie and um New Jack City, we don't only get um something similar in the movie, we also get led to elaborate on that type of lifestyle. And and that's what happens to us. We sit there and we say, Well, it's a black movie. I'm supporting a black director, I'm supporting a black artist i'm supporting a black rapper but what you are other the other thing are you 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 you're supporting is america's agenda i mean that's that's what, I, that, that's what you're supporting what you think i mean that's 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 a very valid point that when it comes to our support towards each other we support each other as you said many times in activities that are counterproductive to us, you know, such as what you mentioned, the movies, certain movies we, we watch, certain music we listen to, certain behaviors that we accept. So yes, I, I agree that we have a choice to make and our choice will determine how we end up, whether we're going to prosper and move forward and get out of this rut that we're in, or whether we're going to continue complaining about situations that we actually have power over. Right. Once we have the power over ourselves and what we do. we we. As you said, sure, we are aware now that a lot of colonization, you know, that's a word we don't use often enough. A lot of the colonization and the indoctrination has sent us on a, 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 a dorming stage where, where we're dorming, where we accept certain things and certain actions that are not really truly conducive to us. And, and when we, when, by accepting it, we're, we're, we're putting ourselves at a disadvantage more and more. Now, we have individuals, unfortunately, we have individuals who are in places of power, but we have to realize that the way the wealthy operate in the way that the government operate when it comes towards us as a people. It's all about power and control. If they give the wrong person power, they give that person power because they can control that individual. If I can control the individual that I give power to, I keep the power and the control over the people that they have power over. And that's what's happening. That's what's happening with the movies, the music, and other instances where we have individuals that we look up to that we, we follow to some extent and we trust. We trust that they have our best interests at heart, but they really have money at heart. When, as you were saying yesterday, when individuals are really caught up in how much money they can make, they're not concerned about what's going on in the community and what's going on with the culture as a whole. So that's what's happening, and that's what we're going to have to address, and that's our tug of war. Because it's going to be like a tug of war. We're going to we're going to win some, lose some. We're going to go back and forth. At the end of the day, many of us are emotionally connected to certain things. You know, we we we've gotten to a point where, to some degree, many of us have come desensitized to certain actions. We come to expect certain actions. We come to like. For example, when it comes to children 
being disrespectful. We come to accept that to some degree. Children twerking and, and doing that thing. We come to it, you know. Do we do us. do we accept some it? Us, some do of it? us accept it. Some of us accept it, and other others of us try to fight with those who are ex accepted and expected. So when so this is where I say the tug of war come in because here you hear here some of us saying, look, that's five. Stop doing that. Here's other of us saying, what? Ain't nothing wrong with this. This this how we do. This this is this is how we is. This is this, you know, we we get down like this. That's so 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 it's it's so it's really us that forfeit our power and then we be exploited. Because if that's the case, if that's the, if, if that if that goes to say that okay, like taking the same example. Like I may I may disagree and go, nah, we gotta we gotta chastise these kids, we gotta make sure they do this and that. But fear, there's a repercussion behind that. So I don't accept it, but there's nothing I can do. Once we give up that, once I see this is why we have to do this as a whole. We cannot do anything individually. You understand? That's the key. Being divided is the key of weakness, bro. Because once you once you have a whole, it's like you ever see we take a movement on something. Something happens, uh, somebody gets shot, or they go through something with the law or whatever, and everybody start protesting and some as they start marching. Half of the time, half of the people that's marching is just marching. They're just joining in. And they get robbed up. And then they they why they why they marching they asking what happened. They, sometimes they don't even know what happened, and they telling them they like oh word boom 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 they get vibed up because what they see unity of movement something going forward somebody standing up they being strong they facing the situation they not saying no to the situation so they ready for the movement. And what happens is once we weaken that strength, once that chain becomes weakened, bro, that's what happens. We can't get when we pursue something, we got to continue to pursue it in numbers. When we agree, we it's, it's, it's like it was a question up here. Um, somebody asked me today and they said, um, do you think you can do you think you can have what you want in life or life is just dealt to you and you have to accept what's dealt to you? No, you decide where you want to do in life. Every individual can decide yeah. what they want a, in life. Yeah, at a certain point, I, I agree. You know what I'm saying? At a certain point. Even if it's an obstacle, Aki, you can get over that obstacle because you're made for success. You're made, you're made to solve situations, to solve problems. That's what we are. We solve situations. We solve problems. So even though you throw hurdles in front of me, you you stop me, you dig holes, man, trenches and everything, I'm going to figure out how to get around it because I'm trying to achieve something. So it is, it's, it, it's, it's like to one, to, uh, to, 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 to one point, we will become chameleons, bro. We will change forms. So you will think we in a form so we can get to where we're going and then we'll, we got to do what we got to do. So we'll do whatever it takes. So you will decide and say, well, I'm not going to let that stop me. When you say, Ah, uh, that's 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 the opposite. It's, that's gonna stop me. And remember, I used to somewhat think like that until you used to be like, "Yo, well, you limit to this and you limit to that." And I'm like, "Oh, okay, in such a way, you're right. We, I, I am limited, so I gotta get that off. Uh, 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 besides, now, so it ain't on them. It's basically on me and how I think. Right. So, I'm, I'm so so like what we're watching, what we take in, what we accept as." part of our entertainment coming from icons that we and this ain't not going to america this ain't not going to the government this ain't going to them why we don't say as as a culture of people to these people that make this type of uh, of, of, of of um of, of of movies or so why we don't say nothing to them like look we don't want that we we don't want that just normal, no protest or nothing. Just be like, well, yo, I mean, we don't want that. And I mean, just block it out and choose something different. 
when we start choosing something different and we start doing that, the children, see, we think the children, we think the children, we are, we're following the children. No, we abandon the children because we say, oh, they on that, man. Leave them be. I can't relate to them. No, you got to pull them. Absolutely. You got to have more influence on them. You got to keep still pounding them because they are constantly pounding it in them. They're not going, let me run this one commercial and that's it. No, they constantly yeah. running it in all forms, every platform, everywhere they could go, everywhere they billboard, everywhere they can look, everywhere. They pounded it in them and pounded it in them and pounded it in them. So that's what we have to do. We have to take that same blueprint, change the content of the blueprint, and we got to pound it in them. And we got to pound it in everyone. And we got to show them that, listen, we're not, we're, we're taking another option. We don't have to just settle for that. If you know something is, 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 is totally more, it don't morally, morally agree with you, right? Why would you sit there and listen to it and just accept it? So now, because you sit there and you listen to it and accept it and say, there's nothing I could do, you could turn it off. Well, there you, you go. That's, there you go. And that's, 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 you know, it's like acquiescence is a word basically means that you're accepting it because you're not saying anything. You're just being it, silent about it. Not only you know, accepting pretty, it because you're not saying any, anything. If, you're not if, doing if, anything. If, if, if those around you is watching, that also is being, you also now is advertising it. You also now is saying that it's okay. What if somebody young that doesn't know better and looking for decisions making and looking for a way? They watching you. So you and you they like they ain't say nothing. So now they cussing you out and you be like, yo, you cussing and everything. They be like, bro, man, you was watching this, you was listening, you look at that. So how is you against black violence and black this when you watch it every day? How you against it Good point. and it entertains you? Good point. Oh, that's just a movie. No, that's a message. Good that's point. a teaching. That's a teaching. And that's what it do, man. It's So we as, that's where it got to start. It has to start. Uh, the movement has to start with individuals recognizing what's morally out of balance for us. Yeah. yeah. Well, 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 you know what I'm saying? What we in now, we in a cultural revolution. It's beyond a movement. We've, we, we've passed the stage of movements now. It's a cultural revolution because what we're fighting for now is to rise above all the obstacles that have been placed before us and make it better that the, the next generation, the upcoming generations, don't have to deal with any of the garbage that the previous generations had to deal with. That's what that's where we at. Because once we are able to revolutionize our minds because it start with our minds once the, the the trick is we've been mentally tricked we've been gained by being taught other than who we were starting from like we were listening to yesterday starting from school starting from seeing nothing that looks like yourself in a positive aspect, except entertainers, except actors, except athletes. You they're not, we're not even really seeing a lot of times the individuals who are working hard every day to provide for their families and doing the right thing. And and these these individuals are the unsung heroes. You know what I mean? So we have, for us, it's going to benefit us to start looking at the, the individuals whom we've been holding in high esteem to really live on a high moral level. And if they don't, we pull, we pull, it, we pull the rug from under them. That, well, we that's, we, is, yeah, that, we don't support that, you. That's because, it. listen, I... The situation we're in right now, and you're right, we are in a cultural revolution. You know, it's like uh, we definitely at war. And it's like 
the, those influences are continually to blind the ones we need in order to hand them the baton to carry on to make things better. If they're not in a state of mind where they should be, they can never continue to, um, the, to, to bring that about. They're going to continue with the war, the war of influence. They're going to continue with the, the, the division, the dividing of, amongst each other, the hatred, the killing. They're going to continue that. So it has to start with the, the regular working man. The, Absolutely. The reg, regular working woman. It has yeah. to start right there at home. We got to start regulating. Because those that ones that we do look at as icons and, and, and things like that, I'm sure they could do more and I'm I'm not knowing all that they doing, you know what I'm saying? But I'm I, I really much can see like we seen what one individual or two individuals can do in this country, bro. You understand? So if you have that much without that much power and without that much um money, so if you have all of these icons that have all this money and influence. Are they really the best thing for us? And we have to start really looking at that. We have to start really looking at, okay, they're not the best thing for us. This is just entertainment to them. They're just making their money go on and go on and go on and go on. It's like, it's that much control when a person has that much fear that they cannot leap out and go, listen, we need to start doing this. We need to start doing this right now. And this is what we need to do as a whole. And it ain't going to take one individual. It's going to take a collectively community. But if you coming on a platform or if you discussing on a platform, I'm sure it'll get around where you could gather enough of these ones that's icons and that's influencers to start going, listen, we have to change how we displaying our culture, how we looking at ourselves. We have to change that. We have to make better content yeah, and we well, have to yeah. um, start teaching and be more better influencers than, the, than than how we're doing right now. Because what we're doing right now, bro, I mean, these streets is like rough, bro. These kids is like, they need help, man. They need guidance, bro. You know what I'm saying? Okay, let's, 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 let's check this out. What's this you about to play? Women are under spiritual attack. <laughs> Female representation today is trash. Matter of fact, it's below trash. It is a dumpster fire that a bunch of hobos had a circle jerk over. Mainstream media and government give us extremes like Pearl, who is an Uncle Tom to all women, or Jada Pinkett Smith, who is literally the epitome of female narcissism. Where we do have intelligent women like Candace Owen, they only put their little puppet in front of our face where it furthers whatever gender her sponsor is trying to promote. Cardi B literally took a dump on Instagram Live and we laugh this indecency off. Kim K sucked her way to a billion dollar bandwagon just so her and her plastic husband hopping sisters could collectively make us feel physically inadequate so we're perpetually chasing this bad bitch image which by the way got every single one of them dumped, divorced, ditched or cheated on on national television for our viewing pleasure, by the way. And if that's not bad enough, you turn into the VMAs, where every female performer is reciting slut rap half naked, scissoring their counterpart or twerking on stage. The only feminists that do gain any traction are bull dykes that hate men while simultaneously trying to look like one or transgender women who are attempting to eliminate the classification of women while bashing men, introducing this new form of misogyny that I can't even begin to wrap my fucking head around all under the guise of fake tip and wigs. Further that was that women are under. All right, so what was your thoughts about what she was saying? Well, she got a lot of valid thoughts. I mean, like, you know, it it, it still boils down to they can you, you could put anything in front of people, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's, we have to decide. They're not nobody's twisting our arm. So I'm not saying what they're doing is, is is good or whatever, but I'm saying like, let's stop looking at them. Let's start looking at ourselves. Are we entertained with this? Do we let that trend in our houses? Do we we do we continue when they leave off the stage of doing that? Do we tune in? Are we curious about what they're doing? Do we follow them online? So let's stop. I'm, I mean, like what she's saying is right, but they're never gonna stop, bro. 
But it's up to us. It's up to our households. It's up to us to get in our households and say, listen, this ain't coming through my door. You know, this is like, and I'm going to be like straight out like this. This is like when you step in shit and you walk in your house and it's on your feet and you walking through your whole house, man, and it stinks in it. You feel me? So this is what you're bringing into your home. You know what I'm saying? You got to wipe your feet, take the shoe off. And you know when you know how we do. If we stepped in some some dog mess, man, we throw the sneakers away. We throw them away no matter how much they cost or nothing. We're going to step in shit, throw them shits away. They ain't no good no more. You feel me? Because it's always on the bottom of them. So it's like that we, we have to, that's, I understand. But now today, man, where we at, bro, with so much information on the internet, and so many powerful people that is acknowledging platforms and so many powerful people that's from our culture that's on these platforms. It starts, we got to start telling the people to start saying no to these type of icons and these type of influences that they doing and don't be entertained by them. You know what I'm saying? Like she said, they, we laughed at it and we, but we engaged in it. We got to stop engaging because somewhere around when we, when we are watching this, they are always young. Or they put it out more. Or we're helping those numbers increase so it could get out more. So we have to stop. That's what I think. Okay, so what about, you know, what about creating alternative content? And that's what we are striving to do here, to create alternative content by speaking about what we speak about here. And you, you, you guys who are listening, Give us your comments. We want this is this is for all of us. This is two of us can't solve these issues. It's going to take more of us to solve these issues. So whatever thoughts you have, put them put them up. You know, put those thoughts up because part of the problem has been, and from what I've experienced is, we've had people outside of our community trying to tell us what we need. And when you have that going on, then you're not going to be able to rectify the problem because they're not connected to the problem. So that's what it's going to take. So you you, you viewers that's watching and, and listening, please give us your feedback. We, we, we're looking forward to it because, as I said, we can make the difference together. No, we're not. We got to be realistic. Everybody's not going to jump on board. Some people are not going to do it. Some people are going to remain doing what they're doing. However, it's a hundred families that control the world. A hundred families, hundred rich families, wealthy families control the world. So I'm saying that to say that we don't need a massive number. We just need enough individuals who are willing to do the work each and every day, no matter how difficult it becomes. That's what we need. And what I got out of that, you know, is it's an attack on the women. And if you attack the women, remember, our mothers were our moral compasses. The women normally are the moral compasses. Remember, when we were growing up, you couldn't expect a woman to, you know, give you head, to give you a blow and all that stuff. That wasn't, that wasn't happening. You didn't expect to, to have sex with a woman the first day. So it's certain things. So once you attack the woman, you attack the foundation. The woman is the foundation. So that's why the woman is under attack and the men are being, what? Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, de de mas uh, masculated. They, they, they're, taking, <laughs> they're, taking, they're taking the men's testosterone. They're taking their masculinity they, away yeah, from they, them. They, yeah, they, they, yeah. They, they, so, so the men are being made to be like, okay, Let's uh, an example. You have a lot of individuals and athletes and, and rap artists painting their nails now. You know what I mean? They're painting their fingernails. So this was usually a feminine trait. Now it's being made to appear like, 
oh, I got a choice to do whatever I want to do. Some choices at the end of the day, as you were saying, affect the young people. How do the young people, look, you you old enough to know, okay, you might just be doing it just for attention. But the young child don't know that. The young child looking at it is, oh, that's, that's what I'm supposed to do. That's how I should carry myself. So as us being the elders, yeah, yes, it will benefit the community for us to be mindful of how we maneuver, how we move around individuals, what we say, as you were saying, what we say, what we do. Everything we do has a repercussion. Like you were saying before with your wife, like our women, if it wasn't for my wife, a lot of my choices and changing, I wouldn't probably have done, you know? Yes, and that's why we're here, to lift fallen humanity. That's the goal, to lift fallen humanity. Yes, humanity is gone. And, and, that's, and, and that's what's happening because at the end of the day, once the women start to realize that, okay, they have more power than they realize Money controls it all. Yes, when 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 money when, money when, money when 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 you it look at it when when you look at it from the aspect of those who have the money and print the money and the individuals who who we as so called Americans look to to do right by us are being pimped by the people with money, that's when money start making the big deal because they're being pimped. The government is being pimped by big business. Remember, big business is what runs the world. And yeah, it's money per se as the front, the front part. But the whole thing is power and control. And how do you control a people by first controlling their mind? Once you control their thoughts and you can control their emotions, they're just putty in your hand. And that's what's happening to us. We're being controlled by images. We're being controlled by propaganda. We're being controlled by media. We're being controlled by social media. And it's mental and emotional. So if you start touching into what a person thinks and how a person feels, what happens is a lot of times logic goes out the window. And it's just about how you feel at the time and what you're doing to make, make you feel good for that short moment. And that's what's happening to us. So I want to I want to play something else about it with the women again, you know. I never got the point of happy wife, happy life. You hear it growing up and it conditions you to think as long as a woman is happy, all will be well. And then you grow up in a generation where women strive to do exactly that, make sure that they are happy above all else, including above their partner. To live by happy wife, happy life is selfish. To live by happy spouse, happy house is love. And now it confuses me to think why a woman would put her happiness above anybody else when she asks for a leader, a provider, a protector, all in one to be loyal and to serve according to her emotions and necessities seems like a big responsibility to take on a wife. It almost sounds like a child to be taken care of, to be paid attention to, to be coddled and loved and never wanting to seem like she's giving too much because then who are you to tell her anything? To have enough sexual experience to please her in the bed, but now you have to compete with all the men that have already left their mark in her and it's not just one and it's not just two and it's not just three. And it doesn't stop there. You have to look her type, act her type, and most of the time she wants a little bit of hood and a little bit of holy. But if you act too holy, you're seen as weak and if you act too hood, it comes across as you're too aggressive. She wants a man that will spoil her and treat her like a princess to be called queen but have no class when the words out her mouth are disrespectful as soon as it doesn't go her way but you must be patient 
and you must be graceful with her. And the irony of all that I say about this is that she wants to come as she is. It sounds like she's looking for the love of God in men. I forgot the point of now, now that was, you know, that was pretty deep because it, 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 it's to me, I see that women are using their power, but they're not using their power in a constructive way. They're using their power in more of a selfish way. And it's demasculating the men and the men are trying to live up to uh, image or expectation, but they're falling short. And they're being, and instead of being uplifted, they're being pushed aside and and downgraded. And as men, we need our women, and as women, we need our men. But so social media or the machine will have you believe that we don't need each other, and and they push that narrative where, you know, the women be talking about I'm the boss bitch and this, that, and the other. You know what I mean? And it's it's demoralizing the family structure because if the man and woman can't get together, everything that we're trying to do won't ever be able to get done because it's going to take both the man and the woman in the household to correct the children, you know? So that's what it's going to take. What's your thoughts? Well, when you go, when you look at, uh, this came about, uh, especially in our community, we didn't have that. Our women didn't have attitudes like that, you know, and in white communities back in the day, you know, they were, they were always stay home moms. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they had the opportunity to be stay home moms. You know, when they started attacking the black man and separating the black man from the, the black woman, uh, and, and, and at first, the black man goes, well, you could do that job, so you got to go because I can't get nothing. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to have to hold the, the, the part of the family down. But then passed down generation, generation, it became more divided. It became more empowering to the women, not saying that they are they are very strong and they're very independent. That women are under spiritual. What, what happens is they, they principles get it, it get mixed up. They, they start thinking like, because, and they, uh, some of them might witness a single um, parent struggling and, 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 and they don't want to be in that um, relationship. Cause you got to remember a lot of women, if they don't see a relationship, how can they learn from a relationship? So if they didn't grow up in a household with a relationship was um, based on commitment, you know what I'm saying? Committed, no matter what the struggle was, no matter what the, the roller coaster was, they was committed to each other. You feel me? And they were patient with each other and not to be abusive. So when women can recognize that, they can place themselves. But when they can't recognize that, how do we, how, how can we, how, how, you know what'll confuse women? Some women, bro, they, there'll be one woman on this side and then, they're strip women, then they're they they they're working business women, then they 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 like she said, they'll sleep with like four or five different niggas and and, and and this and that. So they're very confused. And 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 it seems like to me, like psychologically, they just don't want to lose the type of control or possession of themselves that they identifying with. They they have a total misunderstanding when it comes to relationship, but then we have to understand the aspect of it too. And we have to understand the aspect of it when it was so confusing that when they 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 haven't had the influence or they wasn't taught a, a, a lot of these standards or, or what a relationship's supposed to entail because all they know is a relationship is a man do like this this is what and 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 we do a man does like this to you uh, and he gonna leave you like this and he ain't gonna care for you like this so now that's passed down to generations it didn't happen in just one generation. You're talking about things that's passed down to the generation that's now and how women is viewing men now in a relationship and a dominance in the work, work world because of their skills that they earned and they earned that position. They don't know how to apply that because they haven't witnessed that and they haven't been taught that. And this is when it comes to 
when you see movies that's made, like Tyler Perry movie, and you see it and everybody like, oh, Tyler Perry movie, and then you see the families wiped out, right? And, and now you say, okay, that's not a good influence because where that leads us now? Like, you, you, you understand? So you also got to remember, man, it's what we're taking in. If we're going to be, if we don't learn from each other, then we're going to be, be, we're going to be being taught by radio, television, internet. We're going to learn and we're going to learn something. And this is why we need the content creators to create more. You don't see a lot of family um, um, sitcoms and movies no more like you used to in the same content as the black family being surrounded. You don't see that no more, bro. You, you, you see some, you got to search for some, you look at, and you look at the old ones and you look at the new ones and it's different content in it. It, it, it. It's a whole different scenario. So it's like a lot of the women, I think a lot of the women nowadays, they just haven't learned. They don't know how to respond. And, I and think I, it's a more mental thing. Uh, 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 and coming to the, um, um, being socially with, with with men and and having a relationship to anything else. That's what I, I think. And That's I only agree. My opinion. I agree. I think it's. I think it comes down to both. I think men have that same issue because they have they grow grew up without right. having a man in the house. So you have two parties. Neither one have seen how to be what they're trying to be, you know? So at the end of the day, you're you're trying to be a good man and you haven't had that much influence to be a good man. You want to be a good woman, but you haven't had that much influence of what a good woman is to a man. You know what I mean? You see women can show that they can be good at, as you said, holding the house down paying the bills and taking care of the children for the most part, but they haven't shown that they can be good to their man. And that's, that, that, that leads to what I'm about to play yeah, next. Hold, hold on. Before you do that, let me read something. Um, um, so Capital I, said, he said, I'm a 50, 50 nigga. So mega anyway, I can't burn my pockets unless shorty stack of money. And then he said, if you work, you pay. If you if you if you had stay at home, mom, I cover the cost. So he's saying like you know if yeah. you do what you're supposed to do, I then, then he'll do what he's and, supposed to do, and I do what I'm supposed to do. Um, a lot of us uh, sometimes even uh, even on that, sometimes you have to let one stack, and you have to cover that. Yeah, absolutely. A lot, like we 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 what we don't witness in a relationship. I've been married for like 40 years. You feel me? What we don't realize in a relationship is how to learn and balance the patient from individual, uh, the, 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 all the trauma that's in the relationship, the deception, the lies, the up and down roller coaster. You know what I'm saying? Cause relationships ain't, they not, they don't just be perfect. No, you have to make them perfect. Works make that relationship perfect. You understand? Because see, this is one thing that I, I stand on, and then you go get ahead. This is why love is very important. You understand? Because when you love someone, you will sacrifice a lot of things for those in that individual, and it should be vice versa. It should be vice versa. And when you do that, then you build. You will learn how to have patience, and a woman is very more patient than a lot of men. But a, a lot of women is not patient back then. I don't know about now because I, I don't know about these women right now. I only know what I hear. I haven't been yeah. Yeah. engaged yeah. with them, so yeah. I don't know if they have patience. So I'm going to be like, um, right. a, a, a lot of them don't, 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 don't learn. They don't see to learn that. They just see to learn. You don't take this. You, uh, you don't let somebody do this. And boom, but they don't learn how to work on it, both individuals, how to work through it and how to work on it. This is what we have to show them. This is what we got to show them that, nah, you could go through whatever. And this is, if you love, if two individuals want better for each other, if want better for each other, this is what you got to give that person and that person got to give you. It's a lot of patience, understanding and, and, and listening, you know what I'm saying? And discussion. 
You know what I'm saying? And respect, man. That's and that's the key thing. You know? And I agree. Opinion. I agree. We got five more minutes. I'm gonna play this, but I just want to five I minutes. Just wanna, I, yeah, we got five minutes. I just want to say that basically, for what you were saying, just to shorten it up, women are they learn how to leave, but not how to stay. You know what I mean? That's where it's at. Women will leave you quick, but they they won't stick around and stay with you. And that's what we had with our wives. They stayed. They stayed with us. You know what I mean? And, you know, and now, you know, my wife says she would tell she would tell women to leave. You know what I'm saying? So uh, and that's what's happening. And that's what's happening because our wives, uh, our generation is the generation that's raising the, the women now. And they're telling the women, don't do like I did, leave. And that's what's happening. And they're leaving. And what's happening is, like the, the sister said, they're having a bunch of different, bunch of sex with a bunch of men, and it's still not panning out to anything. But let me play this. Let me play this right quick. Okay, because I was getting ready to say something, yeah. man, but I don't yeah, know. Yeah, no, you go ahead. After when me. a woman come in my life, I tell her, I don't want you to hold me down. I want you to lift me up, man, because life has beat me down enough. When I step outside of my doors, I'm faced with so much adversity. I'm faced with niggas hate. I'm faced with police profiling. I'm faced with racism. I'm faced with so much on a daily basis. When I come home and I need my woman to lift me up, I want her to pour into me positive words of affirmation. I want her to pour life into me. Give me peace. Give me that respect. Give me that space I need. Because I might need five minutes to just woo side. Because the world is draining. And a lot of women don't understand that. They don't sympathize with men. But I'm just trying to let y'all ladies know right now. I'm going to ask y'all nicely, man. Take it easy on your man. He's going through a lot. He got to compete with other men just to keep your attention because you're watching what everybody else is doing on Instagram. You're watching what's going on with your own girl and you comparing your relationship to that. You judging what he's doing based on what that other man is doing for his girl. You might not be saying it to him, but that's what you're thinking. And he knows that. I'm not taking it easy on you niggas because some of you niggas are bums and y'all niggas need to step y'all shit up. But we're not talking about you niggas. We're talking about the niggas that's actually trying. But life is... You know what they say, life is life. And just to make it back home safe and sound is a blessing. And a lot of these women don't understand that. They don't know the cross that we carry. All right. So, you know, and 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 I, and I want to hit it from both sides because at the end of the day, both sides need repairing. We need, you know, when we talk about repairing we we need to repair each other we need to repair ourselves and, and as you were saying that when it comes up to a relationship a relationship is not perfect but we can make ourselves perfect for our mate that's what we can do we can start to make ourselves perfect for our mate that's a possibility well, our, yes it can our, our our misconception is that we think that our mate supposed to come already perfect for us. Right. That's a misconception. Exactly. See, exactly. the reality is we have to make, we have to work together to become perfect for each other. That's what is setting us back. Go ahead, brother. Well, it's the sacrifice with each other, brother. You know what I'm saying? And um, women nowadays, they're quick to, like, okay, you got to know, like, how much time do you give a person and 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 or and what do you look for in a person in order that this this is the person let me give them that patience like what are you arguing for and what are you separating yourself from you know what i'm saying because then if you're going out and you're trying another individual and you're trying another individual and you're trying another individual what are you looking for like because life is going to deal you the cards of ups and downs and roller coasters because that's because you're in a relationship doesn't mean Things ain't going to happen. And, and and the maturity is not probably rised in some men yet. You know, it took me a long time to mature, man. I got, I ain't mature until I was in my 40s. You know what I'm saying? To be 100. You feel me? I yeah. still had knucklehead um, contingencies and everything. Thinking yeah. like a knucklehead and thinking you were oh, slick yeah, and yeah. everything else. So maturity Absolutely. don't rise until 
the later years in your life. But do you have the patience to be the grief of that reward of when that man becomes to that 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 peak and becomes to that maturity? You feel me? So women got to. But then again, like like you said, once they being influenced and they being targeted, you know, they don't know. So that's why we have these platforms like this and we have to get that out. I would like to continue that conversation on the All next right. show about the relationship between us because it trickles down to the young relationships and, and, and the Absolutely. situation in the household also. And I think that's a very important topic. So we should definitely continue oh, yeah. on we'll, that we'll, subject yeah. matter. Yeah, we'll definitely pick up on that. Thank you. Thank you all for uh, viewing. Come back tomorrow where we'll pick up uh, where we left off. Invite other people as well. And we appreciate your comments and your input. Until tomorrow, wish you and your families love, peace, and happiness. Assalamu alaikum, brother.